now we will implement this um, game banner okay so go to your project and inside the component create a one more uh, create a one more file called banner.jxx where uh, we will implement our banner component add the default template by entering rfc and make sure in your home.jx just save banner.jxx and in home.jxx um, inside this game list right uh, this is the second section which we created uh, add your uh, sorry add banner.jsx okay and make sure you, you will import that one then go to your project make sure the banner is able to display right right now uh, the screen is la uh, smaller that's why uh, we are not able to see this uh, genera but once the screen is medium or large you will see the genera okay now uh, we are able to see the banner okay i will remove this uh, blue color so just remove this blue color from here and then go back to a banner.jsx okay now right now in this component we don't have any data correct so that and and, and in home.jxx we have this all game list correct so what you have to do we have to pass the uh, this particular game list right so we, here right now we are just showing the only one game right so we will only pass the uh, first element of this uh, banner list so just type banner game banner okay just type game banner the prop name that we want to uh, pass and the value right the value is all game list okay and we want to pass first element okay so in this case if you see right the whatever the value we want to pass you have to write in this component in this way okay and then in banner dot um, banner component you have to accept that props okay so here i will say banner okay sorry uh, what is the name so it's game banner right so you will accept that props here okay and save it now whenever it execute right and you will get the banner so th we are passing this banner into this banner dot jxx okay and in order to check whether we are getting or not you can just console it in use effect so um, pass the empty array and just console this Oops. banner game banner okay game banner i will write like this and let's go back to our application clean the console refresh the screen and once we refresh the screen you will see you cannot read the undefined reading zero correct it means you cannot read property undefined it means that uh, in a home.jsx uh, we are getting this value in uh, in this particular uh, game list but before that it executing this one okay because we are fetching data from the api and it's taking some time so what we have to do here we can put one condition if all all game list has some value so for example if have some length which is greater than zero okay and make it optional condition then only uh, execute this means show this banner otherwise don't show anything okay so null and if i save it let's check it now clean this one refresh this application and if you see uh, just ignore this for now but if you see right we are able to see this uh, a single banner okay the single uh, object which contains the all the games related information okay so i hope you understand how to pass the information and if uh, we are using the api to fetch the information put the condition before because uh, this particular uh, line of code is executing before uh, getting the data from the api okay so that's the reason i keep the condition if the data is available then only uh, show this banner image and then only we are passing this uh, uh, all game list the first element from that list okay now in banner we have this game banner perfect so let's put uh, let's show the banner inside this uh, div now inside div let's display the image okay uh, so image we are getting from the game banner okay so here in curly braces game banner dot 
you have to check the uh, you have to check the prop uh, field name here right so here uh, we want the image right so background image then game banner dot background image and if i save it let's go back to our application you will see this background image correct if i increase size the height is um, too large right and depends on the screen size it's coming okay so you can keep as it is no issue and if i increase the size you will see it's uh, covering all the page means the whole page right so we will give some height so uh, here right uh, to this image when so to this image when the screen size is medium then we can give height like height to 320 pixel okay and if i save it let's see how it looks now so if you see right but we want this uh, width to be completely filled so just write uh, width to be full and if you see now it's with the full right but it's stretching the image so just write object cover and bop, it's working correct if you see this which it has a rounded corner so make the rounded corner for this one so just write rounded to be like large and set if you see the corner is rounded you can make it excel and if I uh, decrease the screen size if you see right it's changing completely fine okay. so on very small screen uh, still uh, the width is not correctly but depends on your uh, you can test it and you can, then you can check it okay next uh, if you see right we want to write this text over this uh, particular image okay so above this uh, image you yeah, um, create one div okay and inside div i will write h2 tag and in the in this h2 tag we want to display the uh, name of the game okay so in this tag we have write game banner dot we have to find the field name for the title of the game so go to the console here we have if you expand this one right we have the name tag right so game banner dot name and if i save it it will come at the top right so and then also we have button so let me add button as well along with this button get now okay save it uh, we have to do style and everything you see button is coming so let me uh, add some style to this uh, title of the game so here let me add class name and uh, text of 24 pixel then i will add text to white and font to be bold okay if you see yeah it's working right right now uh, text is white so it's not showing but if i change this to black theme you will be able to see this right and i will also change this get now so add the styling to delete now button so class name i will make the background blue 700 and then text to be white padding x to 2 padding y to 1 or just padding 1 okay. if you see button is coming perfect now we want to put this on the top of this image correct so you have to make this div to be of absolute so make it absolute and let's see after that how it looks so it's coming here right so we want it the bottom so just type bottom zero okay and let's see how it looks so it's coming at the top so uh, right now because it's considering this particular screen as um, and it putting bottom of that particular uh, layout right so we want only for this image so you have to make uh, due to be a relative so make this uh, div to be relative and save it if you see it's coming inside now okay um, you can do some um, what you say uh, from padding from all sides so i will give some padding here so padding 5 and then um, 
we want to give some gradient effect right so we are getting here but if you see we have some gradient effect here right so we will add that one as well so in order to add the gradient right uh, if you go to the tailwind css tailwind css gradient it has a uh, in documentation of this tailwind css uh, you will find how to do the gradient effect how to add the gradient effect okay so for example let take this example so you have to write bg gradient from where you want to from top to bottom or to the right right in this case it's to the right and then from where it should start so this is the start color and two and this is the two color okay and uh, if you want to add one more color so you have to write wire uh, which color it should go so it's very easy so in telling css so let us write banner uh, bg gradient and we want to add top and then um, just write from I will add the slate a 900 color and I want a transparent at the end right so to transparent and save it and if you see in our application so this is how it looks right uh, but it's showing up until this point because um, the dew is is absolute and it's dew is up to uh, this point only so we have to extend this so just write width to be full so if i save this one it will coming like this perfect now okay you can add your customization into this one uh, if you want to add more text on the image you can do it also uh, with the help of math.random you can uh, do the randomization you can add the uh, random uh, game banner on this particular slide okay so it's up to you how you want to show it in next video uh, we will implement this uh, trading games okay component so and this particular kind of on our animation as well